Hey guys, it's Zuki here and welcome to Nested TV. Today we're answering one simple question. What's the difference between this and this? So coffee is a pretty big part of most people's lives. The average American drinks 2.7 cups each day. That's impressive. A survey by the Huffington Post found that 52% of coffee drinkers would even skip their morning shower if it meant they had time for a cup of coffee. And I don't know what you're thinking. Those people might smell pretty funky, but at least they're awake. The bottom line is that we're drinking a lot of coffee, and that coffee is eating up a lot of time and a lot of money. Meanwhile, caffeine pills are growing in popularity and offer a quick and cheap alternative to getting your daily caffeine kick. But is popping a caffeine pill really the same as having a cup of coffee? Well, I'm gonna break it down with three key differences. Let's jump in. The first major difference is price. A 12 ounce drip coffee from your local coffee shop will probably set you back a couple of bucks plus tip and will have about 200 milligrams of caffeine in it. You can get that same dosage in a caffeine pill for as little as 10 cents. So caffeine pills are definitely easier on the wallet than a grande almond milk macchiato. The second major difference is dosage. Now your typical caffeine pill will have 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine in it and your average cup of coffee will probably be about the same depending on the type and the size. So at first glance, the two seem pretty similar. The tricky part is that it's actually very difficult to drink too much coffee. Believe me, I've tried. If you try to drink multiple cups quickly, you'll either end up with a burnt tongue or brain freeze, neither of which are on my top 10 list of ways to have a good time. With caffeine pills, the risk of taking too much is far more real, especially if you start taking more than one at a time. So be cautious and remember that caffeine is a drug just like alcohol and too much can be a bad thing. The third key difference is that a cup of coffee is way more than just caffeine. It could also contain multiple B vitamins, as well as magnesium, potassium, antioxidants, and even 1.8 grams of fiber. Not to mention, it tastes great, and is often about more than just a pick-me-up. You can enjoy it with your friends or while reading the morning news, whereas caffeine pills will always be just that, caffeine pills. If all you ever want from your coffee is an energy boost and nothing else, then it might be worth asking yourself why you're feeling so sluggish to begin with. There might be a bigger problem to solve. So, there you have it. If every now and again you need a quick energy boost, then the occasional caffeine pill can do that for you. But otherwise, I'd recommend sticking to the fair trade Colombian dark roast for now. Anyway, that's all for today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, then I'd enjoy a thumbs up and remember to subscribe for more health and wellness videos. I'm Zuki, this is Nesta TV, and stay happy and healthy. So caffeine pills are definitely, <laughs> definitely is a hard word to say.